Hello, welcome to Fanta Tracks TV. It's time for another unboxing video. Um, before I go any further though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have new content every Wednesday and every Saturday. And if something exciting happens, we try and post that up in between. So this one's come out a bit early. Today we're going to be looking at the Rise of Skywalker, C-3PO and Babu Frick figure. This is the one that we saw on Triple Force Friday, um, which Anthony Daniels took great pleasure in opening. Everyone seems to have gone mad for Babu Frick since then. Uh, so let's have a look at the box first and then we can look at the figure itself. So we've got on the front C-3PO and Babu Frick. Bit of artwork there, shows what they look like. Figures in the plastic, wouldn't be a surprise. Now this is interesting because this hasn't got a number. So this would suggest this is an exclusive somewhere which would also uh, suggest that why we managed to get it outside of the next wave. So I don't know where this is an exclusive to, I'm sure someone will tell me. Um, but yeah, that's where that comes from. So on the side there, black, no figure. That uh, red, no figure either. That uh, dust again, red and no number. On the top, black and empty. On the bottom, if we get the focus in, there's the barcode. And then on the other side, it says C-3PO and Babu Freak. And then in the grey writing, C-3PO and B. Now, let's have a look on the back. And on the back, we've got the artwork again. You can't really see uh, too much on that because the wording is all over it. Again, no number. And it says C-3PO longs for more peaceful times, but his continued service to the resistance keeps him on the front lines of galactic conflict. And then for Babu Frick, it says a tiny, well-regarded droid smith. Babu Frick can modify virtually any droid, regardless of the security measure protecting its systems. Sounds like a plot point to me. Right, that's the uh, box done. Let's get him out of the box and have a look at the figures themselves. So here's C-3PO out of the box, which is there behind him. I've got to break him out of the plastic, but the first thing I notice is that we've got the two parts of the Cross, uh, crossbow gun that Chewbacca has so I shall have all sorts of fun putting that together let's pop that out oh sealed in quite strongly there the bow caster in fact not the crossbow gun I don't know why I've said that right and there's that so we'll put that together in a minute Babu Frick is teeny tiny so let's take him out there you go and then C-3PO together with Chewie's bag there all busted out ready to go uh, now I'm sure I saw somewhere that this had Ray's staff with it but clearly it doesn't it's Chewie's stuff so uh, we'll see what's happening in there no doubt when the film comes out right so I'm going to take Chewie's bag off and that leaves C-3PO himself articulation wise then We've got the head moves perfectly. We've got the arms, both at the shoulders and actually the joint there as well. The elbows do flex, a bit like Zuckus, I think it was. Zuckus, or Forlom even. God, I'm in terrible form tonight. And there's the hand, moves perfectly. Torso, swivels and twists, same on the other side. And apparently this is the best sculpt yet, according to Hasbro. Thighs move, knees bend, ankles and feet move. So fully, full articulation. Now have a look at the back as well. Now something that we did notice, so you're probably aware if you've been following it, that C-3PI's regular eyes. Apparently if I put him in the fridge, these will turn red. So I shall do that in a second and you can see if they've turned red. But the back, if I'm right, the back of Mr. C-3PO's heads does come off. He says, I'm going to regret saying this. What makes me think that? I can see something. Let me have an explore and we'll have a look. Here's a Babu Frick. Let's see if I can get the focus in. Oh, almost dropped him there. Let's see if I can get the focus in. Obviously we get better pictures when we're posing. But look, his visor goes up and down. He, his waist moves, his arms move. And does his legs move? Not really, no. So, so quite a lot of articulation for such a tiny, tiny figure, because that is tiny. 
There's the bag. There's the bowcaster. Right, I'm gonna pop C3PO in the fridge for a minute and we can have a look to see what happens to his eyes. Hello, welcome back. And as you can see, he's been in the fridge for a few minutes and he's got the red eyes. And equally as exciting, I got the back of his head off to reveal it's episode one C3PO back of head. I wonder if that's a spoiler. So there we go. That's C3PO all in action. Uh, I guess all that remains now is for me to get him into ooh, into focus would be nice. But also, there you go, to get him into the poses so you can look at him properly. Salutations. Uh, hello, chaps. Uh, great that you watched the video. Really pleased that you uh, took the time to watch it. Now, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, tell all your friends. Uh, subscribing is good because we have new videos every Wednesday, every Saturday. So don't miss out.